Everyone has the right to feel safe, whether in their own homes or out and about at work or leisure. But increasingly, communities across the country are turning from safe havens into living nightmares. Violence, criminal damage and threatening and abusive behaviour blight the lives of people all over the country. I've come to an area of Sheffield called the Manor, which is notorious for crime and antisocial behaviour. So what's life like here on the Manor? Terrible. Why? There's always drug stealing, fighting, everything. I don't like, I am not to move me. Do you think some of the people that live around here are scared of what's going on? Yeah, especially older ones are a lot scared. What kind of things happen? Fighting, drinking. A bit of bullying. Bullying. So why do people do it? Because they're bored and there's not better to do. And no matter where it takes place, antisocial behaviour doesn't just make life unpleasant. It can create an environment where people live in fear and it can literally ruin lives. We've had some trouble up here with kids knocking about. In Sheffield, police are tackling crime and antisocial behaviour head on. Police constables Dean McLaughlin and Daniel Lumley are on patrol on the Manor Estate. We've just gone past fire station and one issue that we've been getting down there is the fire crew was getting attacked by these gangs of lads. Where the fire crew attend either a real job or a hoax job or whatever and they get there and they, they're getting pelted by gangs of lads with bricks and stuff, you know, that's a bit ridiculous really. Unfortunately, this has been experienced by other fire crews around the country. This footage was filmed by Greater Manchester Fire Service as a gang hurls bricks at their fire engine's windscreen. You all right, lads? You Keep down. noise down, all seriousness, lads, because you're all right. Oh, yeah. Pe people will be ringing, won't they, about noise, yeah? Cheers. In a recent report, nearly a third of people said that they had personally been a victim of yobbish behaviour or had witnessed an incident in the last year. And the police in Sheffield soon get a call about antisocial behaviour. It's a pregnant woman who claims to have been threatened by local youths. Hello. I don't know what the problem is. What, what exactly has happened, love? I don't know why they keep harassing me. We've come round back, shouting abuse at me all the time. Swift. They break my windows, they're trying to chuck stones at me on the street. And I'm frightened to stay in my home. I can't go out to get my shopping because they're out. Yeah, no, I know. The police get a tip as to where the possible culprits may be hiding, so they knock on a neighbouring address. Hello. Hey, how are you doing, Royce? <laughs> Shut up! We're getting complaints about kids from here causing issues over at road, basically. You've been outside tonight, mate. We've got to make it pretty clear, right? Whatever's happening, if it's you or if it's not you, it's got to stop. So if it isn't you and you know who's doing it, pass the message on because we'll be after them. See you later. There's a fine line between what's perceived as a nuisance and antisocial behaviour, but by making a stand with your neighbours, local services and the police, you can fight back. OK, we saw some very distressed people there. Clearly this has a huge impact, but what exactly counts as antisocial behaviour? I think this is a difficult question, really, because there is no hard and fast rule as to exactly what is classed as antisocial behaviour. I guess, for me, the way to describe it is it's anything that affects you personally. So it can be something as simple as a dog barking continuously, maybe when the owners have gone out to work, all the way up to sort of targeted harassment. So any of, the, any of those and anything in between, really. So anything that affects your quality of life? Yeah, exactly. And then what do you do about it? Well, you do something, and that is the main thing. Don't sit at home and think, oh, no, I, I daren't speak out, you know, mm. what's going to happen? Or don't necessarily go and confront the people yourselves. The best course of action to do is to contact your local community police. And you know what? The chances are someone else on your street is being affected by a similar thing. So actually, by speaking up, you might solve the problem for a lot of people. Great. Thanks very much, Kate. Thank you.